Now let's move on to this particular question. In 2020, Max Product PLC had a basic EPS of 1.05 based on earnings of 105 million and 100 million ordinary shares. At the year end, it also had an had an issue of 40 million 12% convertible loan, which is convertible in one year's time at the rate of four ordinary shares for every uh, five rupees of loan and the rate of tax is 30%. So you are required to calculate the diluted EPS, earnings per share. So in order to calculate uh, diluted earnings per share, uh, we should uh, first of all identify the profit, the profit considering uh, profit considering that the loan will be converted into ordinary shares. Okay, so basically we need to identify uh, the profit considering the loan will be converted into ordinary shares. Okay, so thereby we can calculate the uh, diluted earnings per share. Uh, basically, uh, you need to assume uh, what if we convert the loan, okay, what if we convert the loan into ordinary shares. On that assumption, you need to identify the diluted earnings per share. So once it is converted, okay, once it is converted, okay, once it is converted, there is no, there is no obligation, there is no obligation to pay interest. Okay, so since there is no obligation to pay interest, what we need to do is, uh, we need to add back, we need to add back the interest cost okay so it will be a saving it will be a saving okay so uh, when you add back interest please remember that the interest is tax deductible okay the interest on loan interest on loan is tax deductible okay so therefore when you add back what you need to do is you need to add back interest cost net of tax okay so when you add back when you add back interest should be net of tax Okay, for example, in this question, uh, the loan amount is 40 million. Okay, the loan amount is 40 million. On that, interest cost will be 12%, right? This 12% is 4.8 million. Okay, so you should not add back this 4.8 million. Okay, so what you need to do is this 4.8 million. From this, you need to deduct the tax, 1 minus T. T means the tax rate. So tax rate is given as 30%. So therefore, 4.8, 1 minus 30%. So that will be 4.8 million times 70%. So that will be 3.36 million. Okay. So this is the interest cost net of tax so this has to be added to the profit when it is converted okay to calculate the diluted earnings per share what you need to do is you need to add back the interest net of uh, tax uh, to the profit which is 105 then we need to calculate the diluted earnings per share okay so accordingly let's calculate the uh, uh, diluted earnings per share so first of all First of all, let's take 
the basic earnings per share and this is diluted earnings per share okay so let's take profit after tax which is 105 million 105 million okay if converted okay so here we don't convert when you calculate the burning uh, when you calculate the basic earnings per share there's no conversion so here when you convert the loan into uh, ordinary shares the interest interest cost saving which is we calculated 3.5 36 million okay so let's add back 3.36 million which will be 108.36 here it will be 105 million okay so this is the profit uh, after the interest cost adjustment and this is before the adjustment 105 and let's take the number of shares number of shares will be 100 million here 100 million so if converted if converted here there is no conversion now we are converting 40 million 40 million uh, loan will be converted into ordinary shares okay uh, what is the basis it will be converted at the rate of four ordinary shares for every 5 rupees of loan okay so every 5 rupees of loan uh, every 5 rupees of loan will be converted into four ordinary shares so therefore what you need to do is here 40 million is the loan capital uh, loan amount 40 million that should be divided by 5 times 4 okay so every 5 rupees of loan will get four shares okay so therefore it will be 5 times 40 is 80 8 times 4 is 32 32 million shares okay if it is converted there will be a uh, addition to the share capital of 32 million so total number of shares will be 132 million here it will be 100 million okay so now when you calculate the earnings per share basic earnings per share that will be 105 divided by 100 which will be 1.05 which is already given in the question and here 108.36 divided by 132 uh, million shares so that will be 0.82 that will be 0.82 okay so this is how you calculate the uh, diluted earnings per share so the calculated uh, diluted earnings per share is uh, less than the basic earnings per share this is basic earnings per share so diluted earnings per share is less than the basic earnings per share of 1.05 so therefore the convertible loan is dilutive okay so therefore it should be taken into account when calculating uh, the company's earnings per share okay